I'm Anderson Chester from Trinidad and Tobago. Before network marketing, I've always been into business. I liked uh, the idea of being an entrepreneur. So I always seek business opportunities. I had my car wash business, I had some food businesses, I did a little bit of life insurance sales and stuff. And then one day, I went to a cold calling into someone's office, you know, and uh, that person, I went to talk to him about insurance, but he spoke to me about network marketing. And that was 14 years ago. So uh, I've always been into business. I've been always uh, positive, reading books and stuff. But uh, before network marketing, I didn't know anything about network marketing. So I never jumped in. So that day when I walked into the office of the gentleman to sell him life insurance, and he told me about network marketing, immediately I started the same day. So yeah, that's basically me before. I wasn't looking for the success factory. I mean, the thing is, I never thought I would have, you know, actually been in the success factory. But what attracted me to the success factory was the leadership of the company, you know, the vision that the company has. You know, when I met the owner, Mr. Chris Ress, I was really humbled by the magnitude, the scope, uh, the depth at which this company is going, the, the future plans for the company, and the integrity of the company you know when you're in network marketing you never know if it goes up or down sometimes but what helps is when you are sure about the leadership i'm not just speaking about field leadership but the corporate leadership the the, the belly of the, the the beasts i would say in terms of the company those who are running the company what what do they see and i really saw that technology companies now are the biggest companies on the planet if you look at the top five companies in the world they are technology companies and I saw the Success Factory as being an innovative company and a sort of a core technology company. And if you partner that with network marketing with the right leadership who has the right heart and the right spirit, I think this is a win-win business for the network marketer because now you have network marketing, which is a beautiful concept. Uh, you, you partner that with innovation and technology, you have a big game changer once the integrity with the leadership is in place. And that is what I saw with the Success Factory. That is what made me uh, you know, make my decision as to partner with this company, give my time for the next 10 years, you know, building something with the company, you know. So that's why I would recommend people look seriously at the Success Factory. I think it's uh, focus and uh, persistence, you know, for me, always being focused on the positives, you know, always looking at the business from the perspective of, yes, we can get it done. But more importantly, being persistent, staying, you know, staying power is important because sometimes maybe in the other businesses, I didn't stay long enough to get the success because my network marketing success didn't come overnight. It came over a period of time, you know, staying with the right company, uh, finding the right mentors, reading the right books, staying in the zone. So I think if one difference I can say from the other traditional business I did, what was a big difference was staying power and focus, being persistent and being focused. I think that's what kept me in network marketing so that today I can say I'm a success. I think events really build the belief of people, you know. When you attend an event and you see people all around the world, different cultures, different backgrounds, different languages, speaking the same language like you, speaking the same vision, like you having the same philosophy, the same understanding like you, your belief grows and nothing does that uh, more than an event you know so some people might say you know an event is not important it's the same thing I'm hearing it's not true it's completely different because when you are down you need the event but when you are up the event needs you I believe uh, that it's always an asset or it's always something of like uh, an extra arsenal when you go to the to the event because you are really really pumped up you are really geared in a completely different way so for me events play a major role because for me uh, events changed my life. I, I, I met so many great people at events. I met people who didn't speak my language, but they are my, like brothers to me in, the, in this company. You know? So for me, I think events play a major, major role. People underestimate the power of it, but I have people in my team or persons in my team who have attended events and after the event, not even me can tell them anything negative about the company. You understand what I'm saying? Even if I try to, which I won't, but the reality is events really change the lives of people. So I really believe in events. I really want to free my mother. You know, uh, my mother has, has been the person who, she grew us up as a single parent, you know. And uh, I lived all my life seeing my mother working, working, working. She lives in New York and uh, she works almost 24 hours a day. And when she works, she sends money back 
to Trinidad home. I've never seen her home. You know, she's always working, working. So I told her, hey, you know what? I'm going to retire you. You know, I told her that in 2019, you need to be home because I really believe that uh, in giving back, you know, because she paved the way for me. I really want to pave the way for her. I really want to be the first in my family to become a billionaire, you know, to really free my family. Uh, you know, I grew up in the countryside in Trinidad and Tobago. We grew up very poor. So uh, me being in the position I am in, I want to leave a legacy by changing the environment that I came from, you know, maybe putting in football fields, creating a football club, you know, doing things that people can really grow with, not just make the money and buy the toys, but give infrastructure, put things in place for people so that tomorrow the next generation can have a better start than I did, you know. So for me, uh, those are the kind of things I like, you know, those are the things that drives me. But uh, I really believe that once we get that level of freedom and uh, I can free my mother, first, of all, first and foremost, I think I'm going to be a happy man, you know. So uh, yeah, I have a lot of goals and dreams, but those are some of the bigger ones.